Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my summer essentials and must-haves and we're both going to be talking about hygienic things, beauty things, fashion things, everything like that. I really want to share all of the great products that I use to get really like summer ready and summer bronze and everything like that. And I also want to share with you some hygienic things that are really, really important when you're going to the beach or you're going to a party. And therefore I teamed up with Big Shavers to do a collaboration with them because I really want to share with you how I shave my legs. We all want great looking legs and just we just want to look good for summer obviously. So if you're interested in this video on all of my different summer essentials, keep watching. Firstly, let's start with the hygienic things because if we're going to a festival, to the beach, to a party, whatever, we want some nice looking legs that are not hairy in any way. And therefore, I obviously shave my legs and I make sure to do a really nice close shave because I don't want any hairs poking through. Big shavers do a huge variety of different shavers. If you're going to shave the intimate areas, like in the bikini lines or wherever, you can use some that are made for that area. And if you want some razors you can use for an everyday wear to shave your legs, your underarm area, stuff like that. I would highly recommend these, which are the Soleil Bella ones, which are some of my personal favorites. The great thing about that shave or razor is that it comes with full blades, which means it's a very, very close shave that you get from it. And also it is enriched with some coconut milk in it, which means that it's also kind of moisturizing on the legs as well, so it's not as drying. And one thing that's so important to me is that I can get a really close shave. But because the head is pivoting, you can actually just move it with the contours of your legs or your underarm area so in that way you don't have a high risk of cutting yourself or not getting a close shave and the way that i do it is also i wetten my legs or wherever i want to shave because it opens the pores so i always use some hot water when i do that and then i use some sort of a shaving gel or cream or whatever you like to use and that is just once again to make the shave even closer and even smoother. And then I use a shaver and I use it down from my foot and then all the way up to my knee. You can also use it on your thigh if you want that. But that way you get a very close and nice shave. And afterwards I would highly recommend you to use either a body butter, a body lotion, something like that. Just to hydrate and moisturize your legs. And while we're down there at the leg area or the foot area, if your feet are just dry, I recommend this one from Sephora. It's the Lavender Foot Mask and it smells so freaking good. It comes with those um, sheets that you put around your feet and then you just sit with it for like 20 minutes or until it's like soaked up or whatever or until you just don't want to wear them anymore. And then your feet feels so soft and lovely afterwards. I just love the feeling. I just really love these small packages. They're so nice to have with you if you're traveling this summer. We take so much time to take care of our skin and everything like that, but our feet, we tend to forget them. So I want to tell you guys to use some foot creams and some things that are really, really good for your feet. So whether you go on holiday this summer or if you're just staying back at home, it is still somewhat sunny, hopefully, and therefore you really have to remember to wear some sun protection, obviously, on your entire body. And the one that I really, really, really love is the Clinique SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen Lotion for Body, and this is a sensitive skin formula, so all skin types can use this one. This one is both UVA and UVB protection, which is really, really important, so it really protects you from the sun during the day, and I love it because it's not a very thick formula. Some sunscreens, they are just way too thick for me and I hate the feeling of being sticky and just gross and I don't want to wear any clothes when I've got that on but this one is very lightweight. And now because I don't really like to sunbathe because I know it's really really bad for my skin and I don't want any sun damage on my skin, I tend to use Cell Tanner instead. I use the new Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. This one both gives you obviously a tan look, but it also gives you a bronze shimmer on your skin. And you can get it in three different shades, a medium, a dark, and an ultra dark. And I am personally wearing the ultra dark because I want to look ultra dark. It is just a cream and the way that I use it is just that I use a tanning mitt and then I just spread it all over my skin. I love a bronze tan look on my skin. This one has also got aloe vera, coffee and pomegranate extracts in it so it will also leave your skin smooth and radiant. And the last thing for kind of the body area, there is one thing that I absolutely hate. Body odor. I hate the smell of sweat and just stuff like that. Just smelling gross is just, ugh, it's such a big turn off. Therefore, I want to share with you something that is very, maybe not that much talked about, but I think it's very, very important to put attention to. This is the Dio Dark Dio Spray, which is for the intimate areas. Just places where you wouldn't use a regular deodorant and stuff like that because it's not as mild. This one is very very mild and made for sensitive areas, once again for down there. So if you're going to a festival, to the beach or whatever, 
this is a lifesaver if you don't want to smell really really horrible and also if you're at a festival where you can't just go have a shower or whatever once again this is your lifesaver trust me girls and guys it works and one more buddy kind of essential is obviously a good perfume and there are many great new releases of perfumes out there definitely but I'm just gonna stick to one of my oldies but goodies that I just love and to me this is like a perfect summer spring summer scent if you ask me and it is the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce fragrance I love that the lid looks like a flower and just the entire bottle it looks so freaking beautiful and I like that it's green as well like a minty green color it is just so beautiful and the smell is so refreshing I suck at describing scents this one is just so refreshing I just feel like that it's more like a oh, refreshing floral than just that very sweet floral which I like if you haven't tried it and you're on the hunt for like the perfect fragrance for summer this is it. When we're talking about hair care, I don't really tend to do that much with my hair during summer. The one thing that I always do is make sure to hydrate it, obviously with a good hair oil, but I also make sure to protect it from the sun. This is the Shumura Essence Absolute Nourishing Protective Oil. It says itself protective oil. It has got UV protection in it. So that means that not only is it really good and hydrating and lovely for the hair to keep it soft and healthy looking, but it also protects your hair from the sun. It keeps my hair looking really shiny and soft and healthy and I just really like that look for my hair and once again I don't tend to do that much but this is a holy grail thing for me. Before moving into the makeup area there are two skincare products that I need to share with you. The first one here is the Clinique SPF 50 UVA UVB Mineral Sunscreen Fluid for face. Really important the face is so sensitive and especially when it comes to like the sun and sun damage and so on. I don't want any wrinkles anything like that so I do tend to take really good care of my face. Once again, a really nice light formula that is not too thick or too heavy and it's not too greasy either. And I can actually apply foundation on top of it. Obviously, it is a sunscreen, so it does leave a little bit of a white cast if you're taking some photos. However, it is not too bad considering that it is SPF 50. So if the price of having good protected skin is just to look a tiny bit of white in my face in photos, I can handle that. And the other thing that I want to share with you is a face mist from Bobbi Brown. This is so, so, so refreshing, so hydrating. It's a very fine mist, so it doesn't mess up your makeup if you're using it while you're wearing makeup. And also it is very, very soothing for the skin because it's got chamomile extracts in it, green tea extracts in it, and also cucumber extracts. So if you're that unlucky, you've got some sunburn on your face or even on your skin, Use this one because it is very, very soothing and very calming. And on that note, let's move into the makeup section. The first thing here is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation, which has got SP40. I personally want to wear something that's a bit lighter on my skin for summertime, and this one feels really, really nice without being too sheer in coverage. It can be built up as well if you want to, but the thing that I love about this one is that it's got a serum in it, so it's hydrating, moisturizing. And also it's got SPF 40, so it's also protecting. It is the foundation that I'm wearing today, and I feel like that it makes my skin look very healthy, glowy, without being too glowy either. And to set down the makeup, there are so many great setting powders out there, but the one that I always stick to is just the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, because it is quick, simple, easy to use. This is the transparent version, so it doesn't really give off any color, but it just sets down everything perfectly. And it's great for you if you're traveling or if you're going somewhere this summer because it's not too big and it's very, very lightweight as well. I always tend to have a good powder with me just when I'm out and about because you never know when you're gonna look like a shine ball in your face and nobody wants that. I wanna look glowy, but not like a swimming pool in my face. However, I do wanna look bronzed, obviously, and therefore, the new Sephora bronzer is so incredible. This is from Sephora's online, it's called Sundisk and it is a limited edition bronzer. This bronzer is life. I love that there's so many different shades in it as well and out in the outer corners there are some shimmers in it, some golden shimmers and then in the middle there's a kind of peachy color as well. So in that way you can actually use it on your entire cheek area which is the thing that I've done today and it just both gives you that very bronze skin but also that very peachy glow. An amazing bronzer, probably not the best for traveling but I would say the color and everything like that, I am so in love. I think it's incredible. The packaging as well, I love it. <gasps> but yeah, limited edition, be quick if you want it because I'm sure this is one of those products that will sell out so quick. And one thing that I can't live without is glow. And oh that glow though. Anastasia Glow Kit Sun Dipped. 
It is so freaking stunning. I'm wearing it today both on my eyelids actually as an eyeshadow but also on the top of my cheeks as you can see. I'm wearing summer on my eyelids and then I'm wearing both of these two on my cheeks and I just think it looks amazing. These, oh, they're love, they're life. This is glow on crack. The last makeup item that I want to share with you is just a lip gloss actually. This is from NYX. It is called Mega Shine Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Sugar Pie which is also the one I'm wearing today and I just think it's so nice with some glossy lips. I am all about the glossy lip right now. This thing looks so refreshing. This is kind of like a nudie peachy shade which I personally prefer. And lastly let's talk about some fashion things for summer because I personally feel like that for summer I'm all about the accessories, I'm all about sunglasses and hats and all of that jazz. I just want that kind of boho look actually. The first thing I want to share with you is a big summer hat. As you can see it is so freaking cool. I actually bought this one on Hawaii and this is from the brand called Scala. Scala. And it's a handcrafted um, hat and um, I'm not sure if you can buy it anywhere else but something similar because this is such a cute hat. I personally wear it all the time during summer because it's so freaking huge and cute and just really like the look of it and obviously you can style it in different ways and it's so freaking cool. I love that it's so big. I, I just, I love it. It also wants to get protects you from the sun obviously and also your hair from the sun. Um, so I really like that. <laughs> Let's talk about sandals. My favorites are definitely Birkenstocks. I think they're amazing. They're so comfortable to wear. And I love Birkenstock because they do some very narrow fitted ones as well. And I've got the narrow fitted ones. These are the ones called Arizona. I've got them in the size 35. <laughs> because I've got tiny feet. And I just really like that it makes such small sizes as well. Because to me it is so difficult to find a nice pair of sandals. And once again they're really nice to wear. They're nice to walk in as well. I can walk miles and miles and miles with these on. And obviously it's not summer without some nice sunglasses. And my personal favorites for right now are my Ray-Bans. These are just the classic aviators and I love them on me. I just I think they look so fashionable. I just feel like the Ravens are such a nice standard classic sunglass brand and if you haven't got a pair of Ray-Bans you definitely have to. There are so many different styles as well and these are just my favorite where they're just gold as you can see and then just that black, black glass thing, black greenish maybe. And for bags during summertime I also go smaller so I like to just go with a little sweet clutch. This one is from by Melina Biwa which is one of my favorites and this clutch is just so beautiful. It's got a flower on it as well and then just that very classic by Melina Biwa graphic print. I just like to put some graphic things into my very minimalistic style because it just gives you a little extra and also just because everything else on me with my makeup and so on it is just very simple and therefore just dressing yourself up with a nice clutch that is a bit more graphic is just so so nice. As a fashion item obviously we need some bikinis for the beach and um, I've got many 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 different bikinis and also bathing suits and so on so I won't really say that there's any one in particular that you should go for just go for the one that suits you the best. My favorite for 2016 is definitely this one from Mulberry. Here are the bottoms. I think they're really really fashionable. I like that you can cinch it in here in the sides as well so you can really adjust them to your kind of body and the way that you want them to fit you and also I really like the style of it with the trees and so on I just think that it's very earthy in a really fashionable way unfortunately I bought this some years ago so I'm not sure if you can get it anymore but just something similar I think it's so nice and here is the top of the bikini and as you can see it's the same print I like this a tiny bit padded in here so you won't show any nipple also I like that you can tie it in if you want to so you can really adjust it to your body and to fit you perfectly. You're not going to see me in this bikini in this video but I really hope that you got the idea. I just wanted to share with you that obviously a bikini is a summer must have and an essential. And when talking about outfits, the last summer essential is obviously some nice summer dresses and to me the one that I'm wearing right now is my absolute favorite for this summer. I am so in love with it. You haven't seen it too much on my Instagram or anywhere else because I just didn't want you guys to see it before I uploaded this video but I am absolutely in love with this dress and it's also got this kind of like a waistband down here where it just looks like a rope or something like that. I just think it's such a nice style and so summery as well and it makes me feel like a sailor in some kind of way and I love that it's got some slips up in the sides of your legs as well so you can see a bit more leg action and I just think that's a very nice touch it's not too you know like showy showy but it's still something going on 
and that was actually all of my summer essentials for 2016. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share all of my nice favorites with you guys and hopefully this was very helpful for you if you want to find the right races and shavers. As I said, big, I'm so happy that they wanted to collaborate with me. And if you want a very close shave and you want some very nice summer relax, then those are definitely the way to go. And I'll leave all of the details down below. And also just all of my other essentials and must-haves. I really hope that you enjoyed it, found it helpful. And I'll leave links in the description box to all of the different items that I've shown, obviously. And on that note, I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. And remember, I love y'all to the moon and back and everywhere else. Have the most amazing summer. Bye.